I'm Brielle Hunter. And I'm Jordan Madison. And we would like to give you a brief background on the Pacific Islanders that our group did. First off, the Pacific Islands are located in the Pacific Ocean and they are split into three zones, Melanesia, Micronesia, and Polynesia. Uh, Melanesia is called the Black Islands because of the, its dark skinned inhabitants. It includes New Guinea, which is the largest, New Caledonia, Zendikase, Venuta, Fiji, and the Solomon Islands. The 21st century, the population was roughly 10 million people. Micronesia, hence its name, is nicknamed the Small Island. Places located in Micronesia are the Wake Islands and Marshall Islands, and many more. Their population is 105,681. Polynesia is called the Many Islands. It includes New Zealand, Hawaiian Islands, Rotuma, Midway Islands, Samoa, Tonga, Tuvalu, Cook Islands, Tikalu, New, French Polynesia, and the Easter Islands. And it is the largest of the three zones. The Pacific Islands cover more than 300,000 square miles of land and millions of square miles of ocean. Melanesia is located northeast of Australia, Micronesia is east of the Philippines, and Polynesia is located in the East Pacific near the Hawaiian Islands. Pacific Islands run northwest to southeast of the equator. The Melanesian flags, uh, all of them have a different flag for each of the islands, and all of them are shown here. And the Micronesian ones all have different flags too. And the Polynesian flags. Melanesia is one of the most Christian of the world. And they used to believe in ancestral souls and spirits. And as of now, one half of the population is Catholic. Polynesian belief is Christ in Christianity and animalism, which is believing in spiritual beings that help or harm humans. Uh, the economy. Melanesia is mainly a substance economy, which means they rely on their natural resources such as hunting and fishing. The economy in Micronesia is also substance and is suffering. Fishing is the most successful business and agriculture is limited because of the high cost of shipments and the shortage of land. Polynesia was also a substance economy depending mainly on farming and fishing. Melanesia's customs include art festivals, ceremonial exchange, dance, and music, known as Melanesian Way. Micronesia also holds art festivals. Music and dance is common to show feelings. Taitin is the Polynesian language. In Polynesia, there is an ethnographic museum to keep the culture alive because it is slowly dwindling. The artwork of Polynesia originally was made out of perishable items like wood and bark, feathers and baskets. It was used for trade with the Europeans and modern art such as paintings depicts the history of the Pacific Islanders. Easter Island is mostly monuments and stone sculptures. Hawaii is wood carvings and Samoa and Tonga is fine mats, which there is a picture of below. The climate of these islands are mainly tropical and warm and humid. 
Polynesian meal patterns. Supper is the largest meal. Uh, the daily tradition meals are poi, breadfruit, which is in the photo, green bananas, fish or pork, and coconut milk or cream. Lomi lomi salmon is an example of a Hawaiian dinner. Chicken lua, poi, and apoya are all in the picture below. Traditional Hawaiian diet foundation is mostly made up of starchy foods, which makes up 75 to 80% of their diet. The starch comes from roots of vegetables or starchy fruits, and 7 to 12% is fat, 12 to 15% is protein, and the diet is also rich in fruits and juices. Compared to the U.S., our diet is mainly composed of grains and sugars. About 8% of Americans consume the serving of fruits and vegetables, which is much lower than that of the Pacific Islanders. On the 25 most consumed foods by Americans, there were no fruits and vegetables listed upon this list. Globalization, many Pacific Islanders have moved away from the traditional diet and more of a westernized diet. 70 to 80 percent of the foods are now imported on many of the islands. This brought a lot of fast foods and proceed and processed foods which is not a part of their traditional diet. With the increase of imported foods the fish industry has declined. Replacing the fresh fish with canned fish, and the traditional breadfruit has been replaced with processed bread. Traditional coconut juices have been replaced with soda and alcohol. Globalization with health has increased the obesity and diabetes rate in the Pacific Islands due to the fast food and processed food increase. These issues have led to the pollen the Pacific Islands having the highest obesity rate in the world. Hypertension, type 2 diabetes, and heart disease have also increased due to these situations. These health issues account for 20% of the deaths of the Poly or Pacific Islands. And now we would like you to take a quiz.